Greetings, my friends. The Aaron Hernandez saga, as sad as it was, has taken an even sadder twist today. As most already know, or probably already know, he committed suicide today at the jail. His door was blocked from the inside, which means that no one could have staged a suicide and blocked it from the inside and still closed the door. It's a sad ending to his story. What's even sadder, though, is the word is out today via the Boston Globe that Aaron Hernandez was actually found not guilty of the murder of the guy he's in prison for right now. His life sentence was actually vacated. This was discovered as soon as he committed suicide. So he was basically, he died a free man. He died a man without any charges, like he never even killed anybody or was never even convicted of killing anybody, whether he did or not. It's a very, very strange twist and a sad story, a sad ending to the story that we have right now. There's a very obscure law in New England area, in Boston, wherever it is, Massachusetts, that says that if you still have appeals left on your trial, on your conviction, then if you die before those appeals are complete, which Hernandez's were not, your slate's wiped clean. It's like you never committed any crime. You're totally acquitted. You have nothing on your record. Did he know this? Did he know that if he died that way, that he would be a free man that hit, and also that his family could not be sued in a civil court for this? That's also part of the law. But here's something else to think about. This is a Christian channel, so I talk about things with Jesus Christ. I always have a tie into my videos. Suicide, the Bible says, thou shalt not kill. When you commit suicide, your last act on earth is taking your own life. You're committing murder, and you cannot go to heaven that way. If you commit suicide, your next breath when you wake up is sadly in hell. And it breaks my heart to say this, and it makes me weep many times to say this. But it's the way that it is. It doesn't matter how bad things get in your life, how terrible they get. I've had terrible, terrible, terrible times in my life. Three-time frontline combat veteran, serving with the U.S. Marines, just numerous problems and issues, severe PTSD. Many times I had been on the brink of thinking about doing things like taking my own life, but I didn't do it because I knew that if I did, that I'd be done. So you just can't do it. You just you have to find someone to talk to, find someone that can help you out. Talk to Jesus. Pray. He will always help you as well. It's just a very, very sad ending to a very, very sad story. Again, this is a Christian channel, so if you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video, and no one's guaranteed even the next second of your life. If you'd like prayer, Contact me. I pray for you each and every day. You guys take care of yourselves and please wake up because Jesus Christ is about to take his bride home. The rapture is going to happen. Millions will disappear, including babies and little ones. Don't believe the hype about it being aliens. It was Jesus Christ taking his bride home and bad times are coming. You guys take care of yourselves. Bye.